senators are taking another look at the origins of the coronavirus pandemic, and a theory once derided as conspiratorial is gaining wider acceptance. Chad Pergram reports. There was a time when the government and media scoffed at the notion that COVID materialized in a lab. Just like the Hunter Biden laptop story, the experts said this was disinformation. But that theory no longer flits around the fringes. Senators questioned Tulane Medical School Dean Robert Gary. He co-authored a 2020 article arguing a lab leak couldn't spark the pandemic. So you're, you're saying that what, what, did it come to you overnight? There was new data that like, came Like uh, a revelation from God. It's amazing. Gary reaffirmed his position today, but concedes the science of all. However, the face of the pandemic response is now more open to the lab leak theory. We don't know what the origin of this virus is. I keep a completely open mind. Gary sparred with senators about his article indicating a natural origin. That is scientific misconduct and fraud. We didn't put anything in that paper that we didn't believe was true. That's not fraud, sir. That is just the way that the scientific method so, works. Chairman, Other scientists upbraided Gary. This is the most egregious form of scientific misconduct, publishing a paper where you know the conclusions are untrue. Questions linger about what went down in Wuhan. It's one jump from one animal to one human. The most likely place that happens is in a laboratory. But China is impenetrable when it comes to the pandemic. The Chinese government may never fully disclose all the information they have. Still, some senators acknowledge COVID origins may remain a stumper. We might be 98 percent or something, but we'll always be a little uncertain. GOP Kansas Senator Roger Marshall is pushing for a 9-11 style commission to investigate the origins of COVID and perhaps classifying the virus as a bioweapon. On Capitol Hill, Chad Pergram, Fox News.